Hello there and welcome to today's tutorial in which I'll be showing you how to make this really cute little rainbow. So to get things started I've got a selection of rainbow colours here and uh, you can use whatever colours you like really but I've used these for a previous tutorial so it's nice to use them for an actual rainbow this time. So I'm just going to start by rolling out the navy clay here and I need to keep it sort of fairly thin and I'll just cut the ends off with my blaze cutting tool here and I'll move on to the blue and do exactly the same thing so I'm just building up some colours so I've got a teal and a green and I'll do the same in the yellow, orange and red I realise that I made too many colours actually so I'm going to leave out the teal I think so I'm just going to curve the navy strip like so and start building on colours so there's the blue, the green and the yellow, the orange and finally the red so that's looking really like a rainbow so pretty pleased with that. So to neaten off the edges I want to make a couple of clouds so I'm using this plastic tool here that I got from a set of cake decorating tools from a homeware store a few years ago now and they were really cheap and I'll leave them linked below actually if you're interested in getting some too but I'm going to show you at the end of this video how to make your own little semi-circular cutting tool just with an everyday item from the home so uh, by all means stick around for that and I'm just going to go round and neaten things off with my small size ball tool here and details actually of all the tools that I use are listed below as affiliate links and I'll just use my wet wipe just to finish things off really so yeah I'm pretty pleased with that so I obviously need to make two of those, so there's my second. And I'll just take the ends off my rainbow, just so there's a nice straight line. And now I can place my little clouds, like so. And once I'm happy with the positioning, I'll just press down on that so it sticks nice and firmly. And you can always go and embellish your design even further so I've got a little star shaped tool here and because they never come out the neatest really from these little tools I'm just going to go around with my scalpel just to neaten off the edges really so there we go that looks a lot neater now so you can just position that wherever you fancy And uh, I've got a heart shaped cookie cutter tool here so just with some red clay I'll just make a little heart shape and I'll just neaten that with my fingers and again you can place that wherever you fancy on your rainbow but I'm gonna leave mine without any further embellishments today because uh, I just like the design as it is really so now I'm ready to bake my little rainbow so at this point you'll need to refer to your own brand of polymer clays baking instructions. So I fancy making my little rainbow into a pin just so that I can attach it to things really so using just some epoxy glue and I'll attach a little badge attachment onto the reverse and it needs around 24 hours to dry so I'll leave that on a wet wipe like so. And here it is and uh, I'm really really pleased with this one I, I think it worked out a little better than I'd hoped actually which is always nice so if you fancy making your own little cutting tool stay around so I've got an outer casing from a tea light candle so with some scissors I'm just gonna cut down the center like so a little fiddly so you might need to be just a little bit careful with your fingers I'm just trying to cut out just a quarter of the centerpiece here so I can get into the uh, side section if that makes any sense at all 
so there we go I'll just cut that off and just cut down the sides so there's a nice straight line and take the ends off like so so now I need to shape my tool so I've got my ball tool here but you can use a pen actually or anything kind of rounded to curve your metal work around and just press down pretty firmly so it holds its shape and that's pretty similar to my tool so I'm pretty pleased with that so now I'm gonna just press down in the same fashion as before really creating a, a very basic cloud shape and do you know it seems to be working pretty well so I'm pleased with that so I'll just finish off like so just a little bit fiddly because it's so small really so you might need a few attempts to make your cloud so I'll just try and pare away the clay like so and just with a tiny bit of encouragement it should come away and uh, yeah there we go I'm pretty pleased with that it's the cloud shape that I'd hoped for so uh, yeah have fun making yours thanks for watching and I'll see you next time